21 Code of Federal Regulations, Section 50.23 and 24. It is illegal to make anybody participate in an experimental program using coercion. That is, in fact, how in U.S. law we actually embrace in U.S. law the Nuremberg Code. So coercion is illegal, and we need to call it coercion. We don't want to call it leverage. We don't want to call it pressure. We want to call it the illegal act that it is. It's coercion. And that becomes important because under 18 U.S. Code, Section 2331, and then subsection 802, um, inside of the definition of domestic terrorism is any time a U.S. citizen or a government in the U.S. is forced to do something that it would not otherwise do, that's also not only coercion, but domestic terrorism. Now, this conversation and every other conversation, I encourage people to, in fact, take those two laws, and when they are met with somebody telling them they're supposed to get the shot, actually ask the person and record this. Use your phone, use a recording device, record the conversation, and ask if they are, are in fact, violating 21 Code of Federal Regulations, Section 50.23.24. Are you interested in doing a civil violation of the law? And if they say yes, they're cool with that, then say, are you willing to violate 18 U.S. Code Section 2331, which says that it is illegal to coerce a population, and that is a felony, and the felony has a 99-year prison term with it. And so here's the problem. We need to arm ourselves as a big community to not only do what we've done, and by the way, kudos to everyone who has done the resistance up until now, but now we have to arm ourselves with the very weapons they're using and throw them back. I always say the metaphor for me is if somebody throws a hand grenade at, at you, pick it up, pull the pin out, throw it back, um, they give me a hand grenade, you use it. Um, what we need to be doing is we need to be informing ourselves, and most recently, Patrick, and this will be a punchline I get to at the end, but I just put all of the felony statutes and all of the felony evidence into a single document that everybody can use, everybody can reference, and just go to your employer, to your local grocery store, to your local theater, to your local school board, whatever it is, just say, hey, which one of these felonies do you want to be implicated in? Because all of them carry 99-year prison terms and up to a hundred and a hundred to a hundred million dollar fine. So, and, and that's a hundred million dollar fine for an institution. So, it's actually a big deterrent. 